did the stats say plenty of possession, but not quite? Nah, possession doesn't win your football matches. I said to the players leading up to the game, I'm not interested in the performance, it's the result that was important, so deeply frustrated by that. We've, we have had a lot of territory, a lot of possession. Quality in the final third was probably lacking a bit. And obviously, and in, and in, well, I was thinking an individual error for the goal, but when I've looked, looked and seen it back, I think we could have actually been a bit stronger on that defensive wall to let the ball through. So, and Joe, who's been so consistent for us, you know, he's held his hand up in the dressing room like a good senior pro that he is, but I've just said to them as well that when we need to help, you know, when Joe's saved us on many occasions, mm -hmm. When he does make that mistake, we've got to try and help him get him out of that. Two, three or four good situations in the final third that we haven't made the most of, and uh, so we have to to get back to that. Was it even a free kick in the first place? N not what I've seen. I've had a, I've seen look at it at half time. We sprouts won the ball, and when you when you know when you're tackling and you're going to make contact with a player, they're going to fall over. That doesn't mean that it's a foul. He hasn't come through the back of the player to get the ball. He's actually won the ball. The player's tried to make a challenge. He's fell over Reese's momentum. But Reese had already made the challenge. So we're frustrated by that. But we, we don't you know, point the finger at the officials. We, we feel that we, we could have done more. I thought there was some good. I thought our back four looked strong. Uh, I thought the front two combined well together at times. Tom's worked extremely hard and then had to come off poor up. So... It's just a bit frustrating. I think we've got to be a little bit better in terms of um, uh, how we set up and, and not open the game up so much, uh, you know, in certain areas of the pitch. So we're, we're, we're disappointed. The, the result was the be all and end all for me, so, so to have lost uh, is a bit uh, frustrating to say the least. Still in our own hands, but mm -hmm. are you now looking for favours over the weekend? Yeah, of course we are, and that's the saddest thing about it. Um, this silly little run we've been on, this awful three games, has put us right back in the mix, and we could have been well clear of all this, and we look like we were. But it just shows you how quickly this game can change if you don't uh, continue to do the right things. We're winning them games because we're doing the ugly side of the game. Uh, we've come off that a little bit in certain areas tonight. I thought certain units of the team done it well, but others didn't. So you know, it's unfortunately. Uh, made us made it harder for us to get back into the match. Is it becoming a confidence problem down there in the dressing room? I don't think so. I, I hope not, because I see it every day on the training pitch. They train extremely well, but it's I, I've just said them. I'd rather have it the other way on, where Monday to Friday they're so, the, the bang average on the mm. training pitch, and then Saturday they're outstanding. And that's the way it's got to be, because you're judged on your on your games, not your training days. So um, that's what we've got to do. I hope it's not a confidence thing because we cannot afford it to be. We've just got to get rid of the shackles, whatever they are, the tension, and go and play and, and go and win games.